Hey, how's it going? Do this so first. Today I'm going to do a quick video and show you how you can use a multimeter to test the spark plug. All right, now some of you may know your spark plug has two electrodes. You got your center electrode, which starts here. This is where the spark plug wire attaches to, and this is where the voltage comes in. It travels from here, travels through the center of your spark plug, and this is the tip or the end of your center electrode. And then you have the ground electrode, which is this guy right here, attached to the threads and the base of the spark plug, and this is where it screws into your cylinder head. And these two sides are separated by this white porcelain that supplies insulation to the center electrode. This insulation starts from here, goes to the center of the electrode, separating the two sides, and ends right here. Now almost all spark plugs made for cars these days have a resistor inside of the center electrode and one way to check and make sure a spark plug is good is to use a multimeter and check for the resistance reading of the center electrode. Now the resistance reading you're expecting to measure should be about four to eight thousand ohms but there are spark plugs out there I'm sure that are a couple thousand more maybe even a little bit less. So next we grab our multimeter put our setting to 20k ohms or 20,000 ohms which is just about the resistance we're expecting to measure. Next we put one test lead on one end and the other one on the center electrode at the tip make sure you don't touch the ground electrode and as you can see we got 6.8 thousand ohms or in other words 6,800 ohms now if you do this on a used spark plug and don't get a reading make sure you clean up this uh, center electrode so that carbon buildup is not blocking your test leads and you can just use some uh, brake clean and a plastic wire brush to clean it up all right and next we're going to test the ground side so we're going to get our multimeter put our settings to continuity then we put one test lead on the base and the other one on the tip of the ground electrode and we should have continuity. Now this might be overkill, but the reason I say to do that because on this used one, as you can see, we got no continuity. Now this is obviously connected to the base and there should be continuity, but it just means that you have excessive carbon buildup on this and you need to clean this as well. And after we do that, we need to make sure that at no point inside of this spark plug, the ground and the center electrode are shorting out to each other. Because if they are, the spark that comes through here is not never gonna make it to the tip. It's just gonna ground out inside here and therefore not provide you with a spark. And you can use continuity for this or you can uh, put your setting all the way to the max in the ohm setting and then measure the resistance between the two sides and if you see any number here that means there is some contact between the two it might be great but there is still some and that you need to replace that spark plug so again we put one test lead on the center electrode the second test lead this time goes on the ground electrode and as you can see we got no readings at all here that means there's no short inside here connecting the two sides and this is a good spark plug. Now the multimeter test basically tells you whether the spark plug is structurally sound or not but if you want to learn more about how you can tell how your engine is running uh, based on what you see on the tip of the spark plug I recommend you watch uh, my other video. I'll put a link to that along some other related videos on the screen so you can click on it but don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more like it I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.